the iron man one evening a farm boy called hogarth was fishing in a stream that ran down to the sea it was growing too dark to fish he sat beside the stream and listened to the owls in the wood further up the valley and to the sea behind him hush said the sea hush 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 suddenly he got a strange feeling that someone was watching him he felt afraid he turned and looked up the steep field to the top of the high cliff behind the rocky cliff was the sea just above the edge of the cliff he saw two green lights what were two green lights doing at the top of the cliff then as hogarth watched a huge dark figure appeared at the cliff top the two green lights rose into the sky they were the giant figure's eyes a giant gray figure taller than a house with green headlight eyes there he stood on the cliff top looking at him hogarth stood up and began to run he ran and ran home home he got home at last and gasping for breath he shouted an iron man an iron man a giant his father frowned his mother grew pale his little sister began to cry his father believed him he went out to talk to their neighbor when the farmer heard his story he laughed an iron man it's all nonsense he said but hogarth's father was still worried although it was dark and rainy he decided to drive to the next morning for the farmer frowned he believed hogarth's father tomorrow he said we must see what he is this iron man i'm sure it will leave When Hogarth's father went back to his truck, he saw a strange thing in the yard. Half a tractor lay there, just half, the other half missing. He got out of the truck and the farmer came to look too. The tractor had been bitten off. There were big teeth marks in the steel. The two men looked at each other, puzzled and afraid. they could find no explanation for what had happened what could have bitten the tractor there in the yard in the rain while they had been talking inside the house the farmer ran into the house and bolted the door hogarth's father jumped into his truck and drove towards home as fast as he could the rain poured down hogarth's father drove hard The headlights lit up the road and bushes. Suddenly he saw two lights in a tall tree top. Lights in a tree top? How? Hogarth's father slowed down, peering up to see what the lights might be up there in the tree top. As he slowed down, a giant iron foot came down in the middle of the road, a foot as large as a bed. and a giant hand reached down towards the windshield the iron man hogarth's father speeded up and aimed his truck at the giant crash he knocked the iron man out of the way he drove on faster and faster and behind him on the road a ch- clanging chattering boom waited up as if an iron skyscraper had fallen down The iron giant had come crashing down. Hogarth's father got home safely. The next morning all the farmers were shouting with anger. Where were their tractors, their earth diggers, their plows, their harrows? From every farm in the region all the steel and iron farm machinery had gone. Where? Who had stolen it all? There were a few clues. Here and there lay half a wheel or half an axle or half a mudguard with giant teeth marks where it had been beaten off how had it been beaten off still beaten off what had happened there was another clue there were also giant footprints all over the soft soil on the fields 
each footprint was the size of a bed. The farmers followed the trail of footprints and at every farm the footprint visited all the metal machinery had disappeared then they led back up to the top of the cliff where the little boy had seen the iron man the night before and all the way down the cliff were marks on the rocks where a huge iron body had slid down below the tide was in the grey empty moving tide the iron man had gone back into the sea an extract from the iron man by ted hodges